Welcome to Best of the Book Club. This week I'll be recommending a novel that the Barbican Book Club read back in 2012. It's a darkly comic novel that was shortlisted for the Booker Prize and has recently been adapted into a film. It's Patrick DeWitt's The Sisters Brothers. The Sisters Brothers pays homage to the classic western but with a modern twist. It's full of colourful characters, violence, melancholy and humour. Set in the Old West in the 1850s, we are introduced to two assassins, Eli and Charlie Sisters. They have been hired by a rich businessman to travel from Oregon City to California in order to murder Herman Kermit Warm, a gold rush prospector. We accompany them on this journey and Eli, the younger brother, is the narrator. As hired guns, the brothers are surrounded by other killers and lowlifes all out to make a quick buck. The discovery of gold means that everyone is chasing a dream and some will do whatever it takes to get rich. Frontier life is pretty tough though. It's dirty work and life on the road is hard and conditions are poor. The brothers are trapped in a dangerous game travelling through an unrelenting country. Eli thinks he might have had enough. Is there a way out of this life for him? It's not that he is remorseful about those he has killed, just dog-tired and yearning for something different. The brothers meet characters along the way that only fuel Eli's thoughts and they show him an alternative way of life. A dentist shows him how to look after his teeth by brushing them and he learns how to talk to women at a whorehouse. He starts to then dream of settling down with a woman. He also becomes more compassionate about his horse. He used to regard his steed as just a means of transport but when the opportunity arises to trade him in for something better, he decides that actually he should stick with Tub because he has been a faithful animal to him. On their journey, the brothers discuss how Eli is feeling. Charlie, who can be violent and remorseless, often dismisses Eli's qualms and puts it down to the fact that his brother was never cut out to be a killer. However, we do get a sense of the brotherly love between them and their past is obviously tinged with regret and sadness and these moments are touching and sincere. Throughout the book there are also moments that are bizarre, bizarre but somehow believable. Some strange events and strange encounters catch the reader off guard and the humour is either incredibly dark, light or offbeat. This is what turns a relatively simple story into a masterful account of a reluctant assassin in the Wild West. For the majority of the book group, this was their first Western, and some were worried it wasn't going to be for them. We all agreed, however, on what a masterfully told story it was with superb dialogue spoken by vividly entertaining characters. The novel is strange, quirky and oddly captivating, and those who were worried about reading a Western found it a pleasure to read and were glad they stepped outside of their comfort zone. The author does a great job of capturing the period, the violence and the life on the road. It's imaginative, unique, and I suppose it is a Western without really being a Western. If you want to saddle up and ride alongside Charlie and Eli down a trail of dark comedy, then you can download the e-audiobook from our e-library today. <laughs>